Hey everyone, welcome back to another lesson here on the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about how to find world-class suppliers for your Amazon FBA private label products. Um, this is something a lot of people struggle with, and I did as well in the beginning, so don't feel bad. But over the course of four, five, six, seven, eight, nine products, you start to learn the things to look for, and you start to learn exactly what to say, how to get those customized products. That's the big one that everyone has a problem with. Anyway, that's what we're going to be talking about today. Let's get right into it now. All right, we have arrived. We are on Alibaba.com. The first thing that I'll say, this is like, I'm just gonna give you like the best tip right away for everyone that has no patience. Change products to suppliers. I mean, that alone, I'll show you what that does in a second. That's gonna make your life so much easier. The amount of times I've had a student come to me and they're like, I've looked for hours, I can't find this, it doesn't exist. And I'm like, what is it? I type it in, I find it in 26 seconds. So that's the first thing we're gonna be doing. Um, the next thing you have to do is search for your product. So let's just come up with something like entry, maybe like shelf, shelf with hooks. I don't know, I guess shelf with hooks. There we go. Well, one of these things, that's kind of what I was thinking of entryway shelf thing. Notice that there's three showing up. There's not just one. That's because of suppliers. If we went to pr products, we did the exact same thing. We're going to get a list of products, like as if we searched it on Amazon, right? Now, what you don't know is that sure. You might see them occasionally, you see the right thing but some of those are gonna be from the exact same supplier. This is a perfect example. Not gonna try and pronounce that, not gonna try and pronounce that, but it's the same thing. Those are both the same thing. So right here and right there, same thing. So what you end up doing is you contact multiple suppliers with your template and you end up looking like an idiot because you sent the same template to multiple supply or the same supplier like three times um, for a couple different products. And they're like, what is like, is this a robot doing this? Uh, no, you don't wanna do that. So come up here go to suppliers, boom. What that's gonna do is it's basically gonna simulate you having gone into a supplier's profile and searching for shelf with hooks. When you're picking a supplier, pick someone who's verified, has trade assurance, and at least one year. I mean, I'm not too picky with the years. I've worked with one year suppliers like this that are fantastic. And I've worked with five year suppliers that I end up ditching because I didn't really like what they did. Let's move on to customizing your product because everyone kind of knows you could just reach out, contact supplier and ask them about one of these products. But what if you don't want to sell this exact product? Well, that's where we want to customize something. And the way that you customize something is you have to get along with the representative you're working with for one, so that they actually want to do things for you. And two, you have to have a clear vision of what you want to customize and you have to have a little bit of common sense. So that part I can't teach you. Hopefully you just had that. Um, if there was like an elixir for common sense, I'm sure that would be a uh, top seller <laughs> in certain parts of the country, I'm sure. Now, really quick, now that we've covered that, do me a favor and like the video down below. Let's try and get this video to 250 likes. Every time I ask, you guys are very responsive. A lot of people just forget, so I always like to ask. Helps me out big time as a small YouTuber. Um, so I do appreciate that. Thank you so much. Let's get back to it. All you need to do, is click contact supplier, know what you wanna change, and the best way to know what you wanna change is to find what you wanna change somewhere else. So do something like pinterest.com, come over to Pinterest, we'll do shelf with hooks. Once you find the one that you like, send them that image. Okay, maybe this is our entry one, wait, wait one, or maybe this is our entry one. Etsy's a really good place to go to because they're generally not sold by Amazon. Um, they're sold by small sellers. So you can model after the designs that are popular on Etsy and then have your manufacturer create them. The common sense part that I was referring to, I do want to bring that back up, is the material type has to be easy to customize. Like that's why I like selling wooden home decor items so much. You can cut wood, you can glue it, you can nail it in different ways. That doesn't require a mold. It's just new dimensions and then they make a prototype for you or they make a sample for you. You give them the thumbs up and then they start making 300, 400, 500 of those products. If you were trying to sell like a stainless steel chocolate bar, I don't know, that was stupid. You wouldn't be able to customize that without a mold. Be kind to your supplier. So this is one thing where I see a lot of beginners, they just like treat suppliers and the representatives that work for the suppliers, like they're like robots or they're just like strictly bit like this is a person 
So maybe don't start with like, what is the price for this product? I would like to purchase it. Okay, you could say that, but that supplier slash representative that you're working with, that you're gonna be working with hopefully for the next couple of years, is gonna have a lot better taste in their mouth of what you taste like, no. What you're, <laughs> they're gonna appreciate it if you ask them how their weekend was, or hey, how's it going? They give you your name, nice to meet you, how's your day been? And then you go, I'm really interested in this product. Would you be so kind to, you know, tell me the price of this? Get off on the right foot. That way they will have a much better relationship with you. So the next time that you want them to do something for you that maybe they wouldn't have done for someone they don't particularly care for, they'll be happy to do it for you. So when looking for suppliers, don't forget that sometimes the best suppliers are usually closer to the top. This is like a little bit of an SEO situation here. If you find your supplier on page 94, it's probably not gonna be as good of a supplier as the one that's in the top 10 when you sort by suppliers. So instead of just putting in one phrase and scrolling forever, the next tip that I would give you is change your phrases if you're not seeing what's working. You try entryway, see what pops up. I'm gonna go entryway shelf. And I didn't spell entryway right, but it still figured it out. So it did come up with this one. And again, there we go. We have a couple of the designs we are looking for. But what do we notice? Most of this is irrelevant. And then we do get some cool stuff like this, right? So it's actually a modern approach to this. So sometimes you might not even have to customize the Pinterest artist, Pinterest artist, Pinterest post. If you find a design that's already good on Alibaba that's not listed on Amazon, well, there you go. That's kind of the work hard, hard work is done. So we have a bamboo, a white and a black. I mean, that's perfect, right? Modern, new, small design. I mean, minimalist. You could go ahead and test that one out with 100 units and put that up and see how it does. As far as customizing it goes, I would reach out to multiple suppliers at once, right? Don't just reach out to one supplier and then go, oh, it didn't work. With the same thing goes for uh, getting quotes, same thing goes for customizing. Figure out three to five suppliers that can potentially do this and then ask them all and see what their responses are. So with that, we've covered how to sort the page so that you get the best suppliers up front, covered the type of suppliers you, you should work with, verified trade assurance suppliers that have a year rating. And then we've also covered how to get customized products from them. Ask them for customized products, common sense that the material has to be something that's easy to customize like wood or generally plastic, you're gonna need molding too, even though it's not as hard as steel like we were talking about before, you're still gonna need a mold to do that. So wooden stuff you can cut, stuff that is organic material, it's gonna be easier to customize. Be nice to your supplier, be kind to the person that's on the other side of the chat, chat feature. They're gonna be uh, willing to do things for you um, that like staying late at the factory one night or you know, along those lines that generally they wouldn't do for other people that they don't care for or just strictly business talking build a relationship with your supplier build rapport um and then lastly go and use all this information so it's only as good as what you're doing with it find a product you want to sell go find a world-class supplier with those five or six tips that i gave you um, and then comment down below what the hardest part you're having right now with suppliers is is it negotiating do i need to make more videos about this topic about alibaba let me know down below so that i actually know but other than that, that's gonna do it for today's video. So thank you so much for watching. Again, as always, if you do need more help in a structured environment where you have other people to rely on, you have me to rely on, um, my course will be linked down below, Savage University. Really proud of that. We have people in there that are launching their first products, never sold on Amazon before. Someone just did 10K uh, in one month. So yeah, it's really exciting stuff um, for those of you who are interested. But other than that, I'll see you in the next video for all my free subscribing peeps out there. See you later.